Hey guys, this is Chad Henderson, head brewer at No Doubt Brewing Company, bringing you a sneak peek at this week's notable release this upcoming Tuesday. This is a very special release for me because it has a very personal backstory for me. This is uh, our Big Daddy Sour Reserve Ale. And uh, by its name, you may assume that it's some sort of funny reference or it's just a really big ale or anything. That's not the case. Uh, my maternal grandfather, when I was growing up, I called Big Daddy. That was my name for him ever since I was a kid and was able to talk, and that's who he was uh, until he died. Uh, and my, uh, he my, and my Meemaw, which was my grandmother on that side of the family, lived across the street from where I grew up and my parents still currently live in Chapel Hill, North Carolina. Uh, the very first flavor that I knew in my life was because of my Big Daddy. Uh, the very first flavor I knew was scupping on grapes. And if you don't know what a scupping on grape is, it's basically uh, a muscat grape, very similar to a muscadine, and they're native here in North Carolina, and they're kind of, a, I, I think they're one of North Carolina's like official grapes or something like that. But it's, it's, a, it's a big grape here in, the, in North Carolina farmlands. Um, well, Big Daddy had a vine, a scupping on vine, and my great-grandfather actually planted that vine. And uh, the year that I, was that I was born was the first year that the vine actually yielded fruit. So pretty much right when I was able to eat solid foods, my Big Daddy would walk me over to the vine every season for it, which is in the, in the uh, late summer through early fall, and uh, we would eat scuppernons all throughout the afternoon. And the very first memory I have of any flavor in my life were scuppernon grapes. So I love the flavor of them. Um, they're, not hard, they're not easy to find and whatnot, so every time I can get my hands on them, I, just, I eat them up, and it's very nostalgic for me because I remember the good times doing that with my Big Daddy. My Big Daddy was basically like my second father. Uh, so we were very close. And uh, when my great-grandfather passed away when I was in high school, the scuppernon uh, vines cycled out of its blooming, uh, which they tend to do. And then when my big daddy died several years ago, it started blooming again. So it's basically bloomed and stopped blooming, so it cycled in and out of the enter entrances and exits of uh, people in my family's uh, line. Uh, so when my uh, big daddy died, I knew that since beer was my new passion, I had to do a beer that encapsulated the idea of scuppernons and, and after a while I knew that a sour ale was the only way to really do that. So this week's upcoming notable release is a 6% sour ale that was originally brewed three and a half years ago. It started out as a Belgian wit beer and then aged for three and a half years in a virgin white oak barrel with uh, souring agents such as lactobacillus, Brettanomyces CSB, and uh, Pediococcus. Sat in there for three and a half years and then I blended that beer with a uh, beer that I had current, a sour beer currently fermenting on scuppernon grapes themselves. And the result is this extremely complex beer. It's got sweet notes, it's got funky notes, it's got tart character. It's all over the place. It's a, it's a really effervescent beer and I think you're really gonna like it. We actually sneak peeked a five gallon keg of it, a Sixtal, at uh, this past week's uh, Sour Fest and it was a huge hit. So uh, we really uh, enjoyed the response that we got from it there. I have about seven and a half gallons of it left and I figured why not make it a notable release. My Big Daddy wasn't a big drinker, or a drinker at all for that matter, <laughs> yeah, but I, I know that he was always very supportive in what I did and, and my, whole, my whole family's been very supportive in what I do here now and I know he would have been very honored to, been, uh, to be named after something that I love to do now. So cheers to you guys. Hope you come down and enjoy it. It's very limited uh, quantity, like I said, but consider yourself notified and get on down here.